Good morning. I just wanted to, I was sitting here, um, this is what I do in the morning when I get up, and obviously I have not done anything. I washed my face before I went to bed last night, and I, I really need to get to my comments that I have not answered on YouTube. I just wanted to show you the unglamorous side of, of YouTube <laughs> when we're not all fixed up and ready to turn the camera on. I thought, we'll just keep it real today. So, I, well, you know, real to an extent. I've already cleared off all the junk that I had sitting here. So I'm working on, I'm working on a second day headache. So anyway, I'm having a hard time getting back to my comments. So I thought I might just uh, do it right here with you and maybe answer them. Maybe I could just answer them. Uh, on this video and I didn't have a video for today and I've got a pack so we're leaving in a few days to go to Florida yay so that's awesome so I have quite a few little things so I've just figured out that my bionic journey is also cat toy lady I didn't know she said so cool love your videos Oh, this is Cat Toy Lady. I'm on my other channel. So anyway, I was just in the process. Oh, that's my dog, and she wants to go out. I'll be right back. So I, I actually started to write to her, and then I thought, you know what? Maybe I could just turn on the video and hang out with you guys while I'm doing this. Okay, here's another one. I don't know. I've never seen Meg M. Uh-oh. How is that a year ago? Why is it? Oh, oops. <laughs> my bionic journey was a year ago too how is that oh you know what it is because the other day i finally went to my held for review button um and i i had missed a lot i had even missed some from yana i mean and it never does that to you i always get yana's comments yana's space who i love anyway meg m i'm sorry meg m i didn't see it so what I'm gonna do is so I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on over. She Meg M said a year ago. Love your channel. I subbed. Check out mine. I think you would like it. Well, it does. It filters those out sometimes. Those sub for sub people, but I don't know if that's what she is. So I'm gonna put a heart on that one, and then I'm gonna go to her channel. Then I'm gonna see if she is indeed making videos. She looks like a lovely girl. Um, and then she has, it says that she has two videos somewhere, in, well, I don't know. Should I show you? I don't know. Somewhere in Northern Italy, 1983. And then she has another one entitled Rome, Capri, and Naples. So she must be, I don't know if she, she has 200 subscribers. I don't know if she's given up and has stopped making them because both of those videos were a year ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and subscribe and see if she puts puts out any more. She seems lovely and I like travel videos. Okay, and then we're gonna go up here to Yana's space. I can't believe I missed this a year, uh, a, month, a month ago. It was on my, she watched my Vlogmas day four, how prayer helps me, my stroke and some Christmas tree lights. And she said, Dear Kim, I meant to ask about a stroke story. You were not dramatic. This was one dramatic thing to happen to you. I am not very strong about health problems and sometimes try to imagine how this would feel and my mental health would just drop to minus being anxiety prone so much. Stroke is a scary monster to me. Yes, it is. You did great in a short time. Oh my, always, it didn't feel short though. <laughs> always keep yourself well. Not to ever go there. Yeah. You recovered completely. Thank you for sharing. I send you a huge hug. And your tree is gorgeous and big and shiny. Yana XO. So I'm going to put a big heart on that. And um, uh, that is so sweet. I love Yana. I will come back and answer that. So I have three that I did not get from Yana a month ago. I never even thought to look at held for review because I thought they only would hold like really sketchy things. 
And then Yana said a month ago on the Vlogmas 12, 10, 21 Dollar Tree haul. Hi, Kim. Never had a Fitbit either. To me, is too high tech. LOL. I am one living in a cave. <laughs> but I do have a step counting little gadget you clip on when you walk. Had it for years back when I was a gym rat in 90s. Um, love your hat. I'm going to knit one for me in these days. Hugs, Yana. How smart is she to be able to knit her own hat? Love it. Um... Yeah, I love my Fitbit, too. I wear it. I wear it. It tells you, like, how you slept and stuff. I slept pretty good last night, even though I had that headache. Um, let's see. Oh, I missed one from Melissa Ann 68 She's one of my buddies on here. Oh, I could go ahead and be putting a heart on these, even though I haven't. I'm going to have to go back and respond to them in case they don't see this video i could respond to them on the video but that seems impersonal hi kim i'm here for the journey <clears throat> okay so this was her commenting on my vlogmas 26 my thoughts on 2022 i'm here for the journey i'm definitely cutting back on my spending the hubs and i are going to get back to eating healthier excellent excellent we haven't done so well the last couple of months and are both feeling it us too. Although my husband's been a paramour of willpower and he he looks he's looking great. He is slim and trim. He walked in here this morning and he looks so good. I was like, Whoa, look at you. All nice and trim. Anyway. So he's he's it's my it's easier to do to eat healthier and watch what you're eat eating if somebody else is doing it with you. So, Melissa Ann 68, I hope you and hubby are doing well and and um are getting to where you want to be. Okay, so now we have another one and it's still on that same video, Vlogmas 26, my thoughts on 2022 and this is from Samantha Rizzi. Reezy. I don't know how you say it. It's just two weeks ago. I'm sorry, Samantha, because she's new. I don't, I don't remember seeing her sliding into my comments. Okay, so what I'll do, okay, I'm going to read it, and then we're going to go check her channel out. I just stumbled across your channel, and I can say that I relate a whole lot to what you're saying. We don't need any more stuff. What we need, we already have. We just appreciate don't appreciate it or better said we always want something new even though we don't really need it that's true it's just how our minds work but we can make an effort to stop to rethink before buying i have been doing that i have been really thinking about it and you know what else i'm not just thinking about whether i want it or not i'm also thinking about do i want to find a place where this will live and where you know just do i want to clean up after this thing all the time do i want to hang it in my closet or do i want to find a new spot in my shoe you know my shoe place for it okay she says i was spending a lot on on fragrances because i like them and my search for that perfect signature scent hasn't ended yet yeah i not i kind of think i've found my signature scent it's the one the i did it in a video a long time ago i can't dare say it comptoir is it, i don't know if you say the r on the end comptoir sud pacifique and it's in cocoa something cocoa vanilla so it's like a a cocoa vanilla scent and jeff loves it he doesn't like anything better than that one because <laughs> we like our our sweet smells i think um okay so hers searching for that perfect signature scent it also feels nice to have a different scent for every occasion but i sure as heck don't need all those fragrances anyways humans should be more mindful of what we buy i'm making this my new year's resolution that's good we should be more mindful we really should okay this channel doesn't have any content i switched over to hers so she has, she has no videos she's just a viewer but she has 148 subscribers because i'm sure people are doing what i have done we've seen her comment and then we go over to her channel 
and they just click subscribe um, even though she doesn't make videos she looks like a lovely person and I like I like her philosophies and what she's saying so I won't subscribe to her because she doesn't do videos but I would if she did then we have another one called Hong Hing two weeks ago and it's just about like 10 thumbs ups so that's just that's somebody that's not really watching your videos. They're just clicking on it because they saw it and they're wanting you to come over and sub to them. And some I have before, if it's something like a, a cooking channel or they, I think they're, you know, they're, it's interesting what they do. But I mean, usually if they don't write any words, I, I usually don't go over to their channel and check it out. That's just the way it is okay and then we have one from uh barbara jean uh, age is just a number by barbara jean and that was seven days ago i'm sorry barbara jean i so late on this and she says she understood my my reference there on the walmart try on and haul video i talked about how i don't like to make fried chicken and banana pudding in the same meal because they're both well, banana pudding is actually pretty easy, but I like to make it fresh right before and because I like it warm. Some people probably like it cold. I like mine warm, fresh out of the oven. And then that way the meringue doesn't get all yucky with that with the with the liquid um on top. So, and you have to babysit fried chicken so much that I don't do them in the same meal. And so she gets it. <laughs> so, I'm going to come back and give her a an answer okay and then we have my gal vicky beauty by ms vicky and that was seven days ago i'm sorry vicky i haven't responded to this goodness i hadn't even i hadn't even put a heart on all these and then she's this the same video and she says i haven't had banana pudding in so long lol those jeans look nice on you those bambi mascaras didn't work for me the l'oreal telescopic is awesome to use with other mascaras i've never tried that one i should try that one for i'm guessing for length because you know i have a all minor for volume but it's nice to have a length one too and then she said uh i don't know why i forgot about that mascara xoxo kissy face all right i'm gonna come back and and write an answer out to vicky oh and then I love Sheila from Inside Beauty with the old girl. She also commented on that same video. Hi, Kim. You got some good finds. I have most of the elf brushes. Love them. Love the price, and they do the job. That's true. The lipsticks that you got are pretty. I like the peachy shade. Never tried the Bambi Eye, but heard a lot of negative about it. Have fun tonight with your company, and enjoy the good food. Love, Sheila. She's so sweet. She, she makes some great videos, too. So all these you should go over and subscribe to because they're awesome. And then Marsha, Marsha Colton Johnson, great, great haul girly. She's so busy. She really cranks out the videos. I really like that about her because if you if you're subscribed to somebody and you kind of they become kind of your your YouTube friend, you really look forward to when they put out a new one out and. So it's always nice that she always has one in the can for you to go find and watch. Okay, and then we've got Michelle Shelley Style. She's my 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 Australian. I started to say Aussie, but I think that I'm probably not saying it. I don't know if it's Aussie or Aussie. I don't know. If anybody knows, leave that in the comments for me to know. Anyway, she's awesome and amazing, beautiful, and she does such a professional job with her channel. I mean, she does a lot. She's not like spur of the moment like me, like me just pulling this camera out. This, I, I tell you one thing I've got is I am real and I am authentic and messy. <laughs> I'm not professional. I should get, I should try, and I don't want you to think that I'm not professional because I don't care. It's just that. If I don't just do it, I just won't do it. So, anyway, who doesn't love to see somebody get on here without any makeup on and their hair all needing to be washed in their robe and telling you what like it's like it is. Oh, here's one of my new subscribers that I really like because she's so sweet and I, I really like her. She leaves the best comments and she'll even give me a little message on um, 
on Instagram, which I don't really know what I'm doing on Instagram. I finally figured out how to just put on there, you know, a picture or that I've got a video up, but I don't really do a lot with with Instagram. But anyway, but she she she's so nice to me when I was I was seriously, I, you know, like every other month I'm I'm thinking about quitting YouTube and she's like and then I find somebody that has found me and that enjoys my videos and tells me they enjoy them. And so that makes me keep going. Anyway, Renee Schroeder, seven days ago, she said, Thanks for sharing. I love Stung by Samantha. Me too. Now, she's real too. I like how real she is too. The Superstay Ink is my favorite holy grail. It is a good one. I was at Walmart looking for Rimmel yesterday and couldn't find it for me. And so, anyway, she doesn't make videos, or I would for sure follow her and subscribe to her. And then here's a friend from, from high school, Tammy Mills. Um, and so she, I don't have a lot of real people that really know me in real life. I, I really don't have hardly any that, that watch and comment, but she's sweet to me. And she said, love your hair. And that was when I made, cut the curtain bang. Okay, let's see. Um, there's a person I don't really know. I don't think they really follow me, but maybe they do. <laughs> My son was even like, you've got this one guy that comments on your stuff. And, uh, um, do you need to be worried about this guy? I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't think so. I think he's like somewhere in another country or something. May your beautiful heart and uniquely beautiful soul be for me the most beautiful reward and gift in this universe. Love to your beautiful heart. So anyway, that's sweet. I bet the, but he says it to all the girls. Deborah Cabasa, Home Living. She's she's great. She's been with me for a while. Thank you for taking us to the hair salon. I would love to see the hairstyle from a little closer. It was kind of far away, and I couldn't see it too well, but I hope it looks beautiful. Yeah, that's true. It's hard, and I feel so embarrassed anyway just to pull out my camera anywhere that I really try to just kind of unobtrusively do it. And then we've got JD. She has her own channel. She's beautiful. I love her style. I love her. She's real too. So if you're not subscribed to J, it's just J D E E. I think she's J D on um, Instagram. I'm not sure. Okay. And then we've got Beauty by Ms. Vicky. So Vicky says I've tried to comment at least three times and I get interrupted. Me. That happens to me all the time. You look beautiful, and I love Lisa's lipstick as a topper shade. I think you would have fun doing a podcast with your son. Hope your weekend is going well. XOXO. Um, yeah, that would be fun. I would love to do something. You guys don't even know. My son, my oldest boy, my firstborn, he is so awesome. He really is. So if I could do collaborate anything with him... I would have fun with it, and I would know that he would know how to do it right, too, because he's really smart um, and fun, and we have fun together. And then we've got About Face with Mona. You should follow her. She's amazing. She's a Louisiana girl. Hi, Kim. I am still waiting for the Goodwill to open close to me. Currently, I have to drive to get to one, and they are pretty depleted due to the increased need by people recovering from the storm. Yes, yeah, she is. She had a bad storm there where it took her a while to get power and Wi-Fi. And she, anyway, she was gone for a while. Um, I look forward to them all being open and having things to browse through. The lip colors look great. I rarely reapply either. Yeah, I don't reapply lipstick usually. I just keep a chapstick in the car usually one of those Burt's Bees with a little color and then I'll just put that on in the car pretty chambray shirt I love true crime too let's do a true crime makeup get ready with me collab oh that would be fun that's what we should do I I haven't seen this comment yet this one's got my got my tingles all up I'm all up, I'm all excited about this one what are your favorite cases? I don't know. The ones you can't let go of. Oh, but the ones that I can't let go of are the ones I don't want to ever think about again. Have you followed West Memphis 3 or Johnny Gott? No, I haven't. Huh. Well, there's something to think about. Would y'all watch that if I did a true crime makeup get ready with me collab? 
let me know in the comments here and we'll try to make that happen. Um, she's very professional too. She's not a hot mess like me. So you would get the yin and yang there with that one. So that's the end of my channel comments and we are pretty long here. So I hope you will have a great day. It's Tuesday. Um, have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye.